Blueface has successfully become the world's most hated rapper. From fighting his girlfriend Christian Rock in public, to forcing his OnlyFans models to get tattoos of his face on their bodies, Blueface has been accused of being a compulsive and manipulative clout-obsessed instigator. However, one could make the argument that he is a marketing genius, because at the peak of his antics, he claimed to be making up to $70,000 a month on OnlyFans alone. In a video posted to Blueface's Instagram in April of 2020, two women that he had invited to his house for a video shoot are heard to be trash talking each other. But instead of defusing the situation, Blueface eggs them on, leading to an actual fist fight breaking out between them. Oh, oh it's going up. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. They going viral. Although the women were eventually separated, things would ramp up again after they continued threatening each other, leading to one woman ripping the wig off another. As time went on, more fights erupted, and Blueface was right there the entire way, spectating cheering it on as if he wanted it to get meaner and more aggressive. After the whole ordeal, the woman whose wig got snatched in the video went onto social media to tell her side of the story, where she claimed that the whole confrontation was unwarranted and racist, and the story ended up going viral, which made a lot of people upset with Blueface. But what made it worse was his response to the negative backlash, where he seemingly refused to take responsibility for what had happened and instead he blamed it on alcohol. While this could have been true, there are multiple occasions that have occurred since in which Blueface didn't seem like Mr. Nice Guy either. For instance, only one month after this incident, Blueface posted this shocking video online. <laughs> baby mama drama. The woman in this clip is his baby mama Jaden Alexis, who had completely lost it because Blueface had locked her out of his house. In frustration, she went ahead and cursed him out, damaged his vehicle, and smashed his front window before running off. All of which went down right in front of the face of their son. Now, when it comes to his son, Blueface has also raised quite a few eyebrows. He has posted tons of videos of his young child crying and appearing to be mistreated, all in the name of a drug many people refer referred to as clout. I don't want to be like you, but no, no, yeah. no. You gonna question my authority? I don't want you. You gonna talk back to your pops? Blueface even made headlines for exposing his son to strippers. There's booty cheeks out here. You in here looking for chips. You ain't gay, is you? Huh? Are you gay? This infuriated a lot of people, with some claiming that someone should be contacting Child Protective Services for the way he's treating his son and the environment he's creating. Even when Blueface tried to show his generous side by giving money to homeless people, his actions seemed less about helping others and more about boosting his ego. A rapper Blueface threw large amounts of cash out to the homeless. Blueface tweeted the video calling it the season of giving. But he faced some criticism, of course, on social media. Some called it humiliating and even dangerous as people ran into a busy street. What's crazy is we've only touched the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Blueface's controversial antics. The man has literally called his mom a whore, opened fire at innocent bystanders in the club after an argument with a random guy, where he now has to pay $13 million in damages for, was recently arrested for attempted robbery, and has successfully entered the most toxic celebrity couple relationship in Hollywood. A relationship riddled with incidents of him berating, belittling, and even physically harming her. But we'll be delving into that relationship a bit later in this video. All in all, many people feel like Blueface keeps doing these controversial and shocking things just to grab the spotlight. It's no secret that causing a ruckus like this is a surefire way to build momentum on social media. But it makes you wonder, if Blueface is already a famous rapper, raking in millions of dollars from streams, doing live shows, and featuring on songs with some of the biggest rappers in the game. Why is he so desperate for the attention? Well, Blueface has really struggled to maintain relevancy and success as a rapper. Back in 2019, he released this song called Respect My Crippin that instantly went insanely viral, now sitting at over 58 million views. Give a fuck if you like it, but he gonna respect his crippin. Yeah, I saw funny games till a nigga trippin'. This was one of the main songs that put him on the map and made him a well-known artist 
most in the hip hop genre. But the song didn't necessarily blow up because of Blueface's talent. It was actually because of his offbeat rapping and meme ability, with some joking about him seemingly giving the beat a head start and how he accommodates for the deaf community. And his horrible talent became such a running joke that he would eventually play into the memes, even going as far as to name his debut album Find the Beat. The album featured huge artists like Enelie Choppa, Polo G, Lil Baby, and Gunna. But despite this, the first album was a total flop selling the equivalent to 12,000 units the first week. This is pretty low considering his fame and notoriety, plus the fact some fans thought he was going to sell six times more than that. This made Blueface realize that he couldn't keep relevancy through just being a rapper. So he decided to launch his own OnlyFans show called Blue Girls Club TV in May of 2021. For $50 a month, subscribers can watch a group of 10 girls try to live together while their lives are filmed around the clock. It was basically reality reality TV on steroids. Most of the time, the girls were arguing, fighting, and overall doing degenerate shit that makes me question what entertainment really means anymore. In less than a year of launching the site, Blueface was already generating loads of cash off it, and a lot more than his rap career ever would. How many subscribers at one time have you had, like the peak? Uh, probably like 2,000. Damn, that's yeah, good money. Times 50. <laughs> times 50. Yeah, exactly. Damn. However, this is exactly where the story of Blueface's reputation was about to take an even darker turn. In May of 2021, The Daily Beast dropped an article that made a lot of people pause and think. The headline alone was a shocker. Is rapper Blueface's OnlyFans cult exploiting young women? This article exposed some of the disturbing conditions that the women who participated had to deal with. Although it took place in a mansion, the 12 women were cramped into a dirty room with tiny bunk beds. Then, to top this off, it was also revealed that to feature in this show, you were not paid actual money. Rather, Blueface would pay you in the currency of clout. And if you did in fact want to remain on this show, in hopes of growing your following on social media, Blueface pressured the women to get tattoos of his face on their skin. We're getting tattoos today. Huh? You getting your tattoo today? Two or go home. Which one is it? People online were quick to call out Blueface's behavior as pretty disgusting. Just when you thought it couldn't get any wilder, enter Christian Rock, a 20-year-old future Division I star athlete who was homeless at the time. So um, I play football. I'm 20 years old. This meeting was like hitting the jackpot for Blueface, but not for any romantic reasons. For those who don't know, Christian Rock was one of the many girls who are a part of the show, but she quickly became the standout star for drawing in a lot of attention of viewers. She was easily the biggest aggressor on the show, who was always down to start drama that would often lead to physical altercations. Of course, these altercations would draw in more viewers, and Blueface would do what he normally does, by manipulating the woman to fight so more drama can happen hence make him go more viral, and of course, accumulating some more money in the process. Stop doing it! Y'all gonna make a man? Oh! Oh! Y'all can't get this shit on TV, cuz. Christian Rock was literally walking entertainment. Every time Blueface would put a camera on her, he knew exactly what to say to get the reactions he needed to go viral. Her time on the show was so crazy that there are tons of compilations on YouTube that showcase all of her craziest fights, and it gets pretty brutal. In one instance, things got really heated when she got into a scuffle with Jaden Alexis and lost her front tooth in the process. She the reason, no. she the reason Rock tooth missing. This would eventually become a hallmark of her style and marketing gimmick, something she still rocks to this very day. Christian would go on to win Blueface's competition series, and things seemed to be looking up when she also got signed to his record label, where she managed to release her own music, with one of her songs actually having over 14 million views on YouTube. So you would think that this is some happily ever sort of deal, right? Well, not so fast. If you look at the before and after pictures of Christian Rock from when she started hanging out with Blueface, you probably think twice about calling it a fairy tale. Time and time again, people mention and how this transformation is tough to see, and always point to the fact that Blueface is the reason she glowed down so hard. That's because after Rock showed her potential of going viral on the show, they formed a relationship and would be commonly referred to as the most toxic celebrity couple. But rarely would you ever see the two engaging in romantic behavior. Instead, we would constantly see headlines like Christian Rock fighting with Blueface's mom and his sister. 
Christian gets arrested for stealing Blueface's car. Christian Rock gets arrested again after punching Blueface. At one point, Blueface even called the police on Christian to assist in kicking her out of the house after claiming she was, quote, getting a little too out of hand for him. It makes you wonder why these two were even together in the first place. Was there really love and connection between them? Or was it simply a business relationship to generate clicks? Well, dropping a trailer for their new reality show titled Crazy in Love in the midst of all the chaos definitely makes it seem like there were ulterior motives. In October of 2022, it was revealed that in the midst of the two's rollercoaster relationship, Jaden Alexis was pregnant with her second child, with the dad being Blueface, meaning that he essentially cheated on Christian. And this really broke her heart, because it was far from the only time he did this. To preface this segment, it's important to know Blueface's promiscuous its nature how many how many females do you think you'd knock down in the last six months let's play higher lord five uh hell no higher probably like shit. no no no, no. I'm, we gonna get, what? oh my god yeah. what you say a thousand six. No, i'm a fucker <laughs> which many claim was a little excessive but he's also recently tweeted that going two weeks without cheating was a new record for him and his inability to remain loyal in a relationship I'm faithful, but I still cheat. Mm -hmm. With Christian left with no choice but to accept it happening, events like this would have the couple constantly breaking up over and over, but they would seem to always get back together, and people would continuously ask why. It was obvious how much Blueface had corrupted this woman, and what makes it worse is the fact that Christian opened up in an interview about how many tattoos of Blueface she has on her. I got five. One on my face, one on my neck that say Jonathan Jamal Porter, one on my pussy that say Jonathan's pussy, one on my hand that say Jonathan. So you don't regret any of these, right? No. This turbulent duo regularly made headlines for all the wrong reasons, including a time where they were caught in a public fight on the streets of Hollywood. What? A, I know, bro. You all right, dude? Bro, that's not good, bro. Damn, dude. Bro. This was really where the world was starting to take notice of their dysfunction, and it was eroding any respect people had left for Blueface. What further backs up this assumption about the offbeat rapper is the time his own mom and sister claimed they assaulted Christian. Mom just started going harder, like your mother's a crackhead, that's why it's not working out, this and that. <laughs> I said, Mom, look, I understand you're upset right now, but if you throw one more thing at her, I'm gonna have to let, let her get you. And she grabbed a glass jar of weed and it threw at her. Boom. Say, all right, bro. Get her. With all this press and media coverage on Blueface, his career was taking a massive hit, and his reputation was only getting worse and worse. But if you thought that was bad, wait till you hear what happened only two months later. In January of 2023, Christian shared a photo to her Instagram story of three positive pregnancy tests with the text that says, guess how many heartbeats? At this point, Blueface and Christian unordinarily remained out of the spotlight for some time, with many thinking that things have gotten better between them. However, that was all about to change after Blueface took to Twitter to voice his reaction to the news, saying, quote, to answer y'all questions, yes, me and Rock are officially done. It's strictly business, I tried it and it clearly wasn't giving. Before she announces, she's pregnant with somebody else's child, not mine. He followed this up with another tweet that said, Rock has had encounters with 10 different men in the last year. Until I see a DNA test, then it's not mine. And sadly, after this, Christian would take to her Instagram live to respond to Blueface's disrespectful comments, where she seemed really hurt. If you really do want me to boss up so bad that I leave you and be in my own shit, Please don't say that's what you wish because you know that's not what you wish. Um, I love you. I want you to have fun. Uh Instead of this pregnancy bringing them closer together, it drifted them apart. And not long after the announcement, Blueface would continue to humiliate his girlfriend, Christian Rock, on social media. After signaling that she wasn't feeling great by tweeting rain cloud emojis, Blueface tweeted, Everybody already know I mess around regularly. I met this girl cheating on my partner with two kids. How stupid can someone be? He went on to say, Christian has been fighting guys and people's moms even before she met me. Don't fall for her fake tears. 
I know her for real. She can cry on command for every music video. Y'all don't know the half of it. After months of minor drama between the tragic couple, like fighting and cheating on each other, Christiana was rushed into the hospital to give birth to her firstborn son, and she live streamed this moment on her Instagram to over 315,000 people. But Blueface wasn't seen once in the video. Instead, he was spotted in Miami partying spending time with Jade and Alexis. However, Christian says it's just cause she didn't invite him. But the incident led many to question his commitment as a soon to be father, claiming that Blueface was not the husband type. A few months after her child was born, a video of Christian was posted to TikTok of her in a Walmart, where she is seen holding the baby in an extremely dangerous way. The internet was not only attacking Christian, but they were genuinely worried seeing this video as a literal cry for help. Did anyone even bother to tell her? Please tell me someone did. Oh my god, this makes me want to cry. That poor baby. Blueface surprisingly didn't get involved with the situation. Rather, he tweeted out, As far as the Walmart video, hey man, she gonna do her, and I can't micromanage her and the baby. Y'all said I was doing too much, so I backed off. She gonna be okay. He then tweeted once again, after Christian would post a video responding to the criticism she received from the online world. I'm calling my baby daddy. Is he helping? No. So I don't know why he's chiming in either. Uh, this mommy shit is cool, but man, your mind is racing 36, 8 hours a day. Blueface responded saying he feels that she blames him all the time for her dumb decisions. And the situation died down after the couple took their drama to private rather than share their back and forth to the entire world. But just three days after the Walmart incident, Blueface would share something else to the world that is completely insane. Christian Rock and Blueface's weeks old child was diagnosed with a hernia, which is a lump or a swelling near the groin or belly button. In this case, it was the groin. Rather than offer support to his family, Blueface would post an incredibly graphic image of his baby onto the Twitter timeline. He then goes on to double down about posting this image. It's my son, I'll post cuz dick if I want to. Christian then took to Twitter to address the situation, and what she says here really proves how badly Blueface corrupted this once innocent D1 athlete. And once Blueface shares what he did was completely illegal, Blueface deleted all his tweets and claimed that he was hacked. You really can't make this shit up. Recently, Rock has been getting back at Blueface by doing a bunch of antics with a fake gangster rapper known as Lil Mabu, whom she got his name tatted on her you know what. They made a song together and it's been going insanely viral. Yes, I took his lady. I like blue faces, so I took his baby. And Christian leaked a call where Blueface was in his feelings about it. Why are your feelings so deep involved? It's like about because if you're finna be on stage saying fuck Blueface with a nigga, what are you? Why are you making my life harder? On Showing that he actually liked Christian Rock, which is pretty surprising given all the mean things he's done to her. 